So you just hit Battle Pass level 30 and you're wondering what weapon should you pick from the Battle Pass? Which one is the best? Is it the Black Sword? Is it the Serpent Spine? The Solar Pearl? The Viridescent Hunt? Or the Death Mesh? Today we're going over what weapon you should be picking from the Battle Pass. So let's get right into it. First up, we have the Black Sword. Just like all of the other Battle Pass weapons, the substat roll here is going to be critical hit rate. These are destined to be endgame weapons with that substat roll. Crit hit rate very early on isn't the easiest thing to build a character around. You need a substantial amount of critical hit rate. Then you also want to match with critical hit damage and attack percent and maybe some elemental damage to go with that. So critical hit rate is not a very beginner friendly stat. So first and foremost, as we get into these, know that this should be a weapon that you're going to be using long term, not early on. So the Black Sword, does this weapon pass the test of time? Should you use it long term? It has an incredible effect here. The first one, the first part of Justice, increases damage dealt by normal and charge attacks by 20%. This is the same sort of stat that you would see on something like the Martial Artist set or the Gladiator set. This is a phenomenal stat, one of the best stats in the game for characters who are doing a large amount of damage from their normal as well as their charge attack. So for someone like Kaching out there, this is going to be a fantastic weapon for her. And this will go up in the future with refinements. I have this weapon. It's the one that I picked. And it goes up by 5% per refinement so you can get some extra damage there it's basically like wearing almost two times the gladiator set if you're using the black sword it's a phenomenal weapon for you but that's not all every single time you score a critical hit once every five seconds you're going to heal for 60 percent of your attack as hp and this is on normal and charge attacks as well so this turns your character into a whirlwind flurry whirling dervish if you are using a one-handed sword character this is going to be a fantastic weapon for you if you're using this on Kaching, amazing if you have this on Jean or chi chi not only will they be doing more damage with their normal and charge attacks but those characters already heal they're going to get an additional heal off of that and they also scale off of attack as characters so you're going to be getting a phenomenal amount of healing self heals aoe heals and then another self heal on top of that with the black sword the black sword is a phenomenal weapon and is the number one contender if not a close contender depending on what characters you are using in your weapon battle pass slot now the next one we want to talk about is the serpent spine critical hit rate just like all the other weapons and it has the effect of a wave splitter this is a claymore type weapon and every four seconds a character is on the field they take 3% more damage and deal 6% more damage. This effect has a maximum of five stacks and will not be reset if you leave the field, but you will lose a stack every single time that you take damage. So this is a big payoff weapon. If you're someone out there who likes to be a perfect player with their great sword slash claymore users, for someone like Bado, someone like Daluk, someone like Shang Yun, or even someone like Razor, this is going to be a fantastic claymore for you to decide with and use at the end game. It has that scaling crit hit rate, you can put some crit hit damage with it, and then it just gives you bonus damage. That being said, it is an all or nothing weapon. So they do have to be on the field for a substantial amount of time, 20 seconds. In order to get the full stacks, you have to be out on the field for 20 full seconds, and you cannot take damage because if you take damage, you're losing a stack. So every time you get hit, you reduce that stack, which means you need to be out on the field another five seconds. So it's a uh, perfect weapon of sorts. You will get a full 30% bonus damage, but when you finally do get hit, you're going to take that 15% bonus damage. This also will scale with refinement. The damage taken also looks like it will scale. Whether it scales up or down is to be determined. I do not have this weapon. I have not seen anyone that can confirm or deny if this will scale up or down, but it is still a fantastic choice for a Claymore user, although I do think it's more narrow of a choice than the previous weapon we talked about which is the Black Sword. Now, the next one is the Solar Pearl. Solar Shine here, normal attacks that hit increases elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 20% for six seconds. Likewise, elemental skill or elemental burst hits increase normal attack damage by 20% 
for six seconds. So you can gain some extra elemental skill and elemental burst damage uh, for 20 seconds for six seconds every time you hit with a normal attack. This is actually pretty powerful. If you're a user of someone that uses a catalyst, this is gonna be your go-to. Uh, because 20% free damage is 20% free damage. That being said, there are some also very powerful catalysts out there. So if you're using some multiple characters, right? If you're using a one-handed sword character in a claymore character, in a catalyst character, you could take a pass on this one and prefer to pick up the more powerful in a vacuum, in my opinion, the black sword or the serpent's spine. Now, that being said, if this had charge attack damage on it as well, this would be a phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal weapon for a max constellation Ningguan, but it does not have charge attack damage on that. That is what keeps this a little bit less powerful than the other ones. This is only normal attack damage increase, elemental skill and elemental burst. There is no charge attack damage increase on this weapon, but it is still a fantastic weapon if you find yourself using a bunch of catalyst users. Now, now the Viridescent Hunt is a very interesting weapon and it's probably the one that is the least likely to get picked, but it's very, very, very interesting because of the ability of Verdant Wind. When you hit someone with a normal or aim shot, you have a 50% chance to generate a Cyclone. This Cyclone will not only damage them periodically uh, for four seconds, but it also will attract them and draw them in. This effect can only happen once every 14 seconds. So it's a very interesting weapon because you can sort of fake venti yourself with a bow user in Genshin Impact. But the reason that this one is just probably not the one that you are going to want to pick is because there are so many powerful options out there for bows. We have the stringless, we have the rust, we have some crafted bows that are just phenomenal at boosting your elemental damage or your physical damage or your charge attack damage or just your attack overall. And I don't think this one is going to stand the test of time as far as just the raw amount of power and damage you can get from any of the other ones in comparison to the Viridescent Hunt. I think this one falls a lot short of the three other ones we currently went over. Then lastly, we have the Death Match, which is going to give you the effect of Gladiator. It's not going to be like the Gladiator set, sadly, but if there's at least two enemies nearby, your attack and defense is increased by 16%. If there are less than two enemies, your attack is increased by 24%. This one, I do say, and I will make it real short for you, I do believe that this is by far the worst weapon that you can get from the Battle Pass. All the other four weapons at least have a unique effect like the bow or have some crazy substantial changing difference in what they can do with their abilities. This is simply an attack slash defense buff or an attack percent buff. You can get something like the white tassel and just get bonus damage from that. If this is just not worth your battle pass weapon, get one of the other ones. But should you get the black sword, serpent spine, or solar pearl, this is gonna come down to player preference here. As far as how strong an individual weapon is compared to the other weapons, the Black Sword is just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal weapon. This is because the normal and charge attack damage increase is such a powerful effect in Genshin Impact. Damage formula-wise, I'm going to spare you the mathematics behind it, but this is applied as a separate multiplier at the end of the damage formula. So if you're going to do a thousand damage and you had 60% normal damage increase, you're gonna get an extra 600 damage just from that one stat all on its own. It is a phenomenal way to increase your normal and charge attack damage. So if you are using a sword user, or if you plan on using a sword user in the future, maybe you have Kaching or Jean or Chi Chi, right? If they're using their normal attacks, their charge attacks, or if you plan on trying to get them in the future, pick this weapon up. It is phenomenally powerful. And that's not even talking about the way that it self heals you on top of that. So it's all upside, two effects. The first effect is crazy good. The second one is also crazy good, but you don't even need to talk about it because the first effect is so good that you could just have the normal and charge attack damage and be happy with it. The other one here, Serpent Spine. If you're a Claymore user, you don't have a particularly great Claymore yet. You've been running around with the bell and that's it. You can pick up the Serpent Spine. The one thing that makes me kind of hold back on the Serpent Spine and trying to get it 
is that there also is already a very good crafted claymore for you guys to get the prototype animus phenomenal it's got base percent attack it has the very powerful proc doing bonus damage and this weapon you have to play perfectly to fully utilize the serpent spine you may not always be able to do that especially in an area like the abyss where there's 30 million enemies and they're all trying to just hit you with you know random treep shots and damage from across the map with bow and arrow characters anytime you take any amount of damage that's five seconds wasted of your time five seconds until you get that damage percent back if you do get hit two or three times that's now 10 seconds 15 seconds wasted potential when you could just be using something else that always is giving you the maximum effect and i think that is what holds the serpent spine back and then lastly the solar pearl i would only pick this one up if you are just using all of the catalyst users in the game and they're all damage dealers it is a fantastic weapon but all in all i think the black sword is the one that you'd take i think it's just too powerful in comparison to all the other weapons it's too many upsides it's too good on too many characters there's too many characters that are good with this weapon as well it's just too good of a weapon let me know what you guys pick down below did you pick the Black Sword? Did you get that Serpent Spine? Are you running 17 Claymore users? If you want to see more stuff, guys, like this, other guides for characters and beyond in Genshin Impact, come and hang out. Check out the Twitch.tv channel. Subscribe here for more as well. Like the video. It helps us grow. This is a new game that we're covering. And until then, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.